Hello students, welcome to our JPREP channel. Hope all of you are doing well as usual. Today we will be doing one problem on motion under gravity. Let's read the problem. A stone is thrown upward from the top of a tower 85 meter high. It reaches the ground in 5 seconds. Find greatest height above the ground. Second, velocity with which it reaches the ground. And three, time taken to reach the maximum height. Okay, now see there is a tower whose height is 85 meter and there is a person standing on the top of the tower and he throws the stone in the upward direction. Okay, then after attaining certain height that stone reaches the ground. Okay, now first we have to find out the greatest height above the ground. So to find out the greatest height above the ground we need to find out the, the velocity with which the stone is being thrown. Okay, that means the initial velocity. So let's use this formula S is equal to ut plus half at square. Okay, this formula S is equal to minus 85. Why minus 85? Because that distance is measured in the opposite direction of the initial velocity. And because it is an upward motion, the value of g is negative. Therefore, S is equal to minus 85. Then time is 5 seconds, so u into 5 plus half into minus 10 phi square. So if you simplify this, you will get minus 85 equal to 5 u minus 10 by 2 is 5, 5 into 25. Divide this equation completely by 5, so you will get minus 17 equal to u minus 25. So therefore u is equal to 8 meter per second square means that stone is thrown with a velocity of 8 meter per second square. Now with reference to, with respect to this initial velocity then what is the height attained by the stone v square is equal to u square plus 2 as then final velocity at the top will be 0 which is equal to 8 square plus 2 into minus 10 into h then this is minus 20 h you will come to this side it will become plus 20 h is equal to 64 and h is equal to 64 upon 20 means if you divide by 2 then simplification h is equal to 3.2 meter means the person who is standing at the top of the tower throws stone in the upward direction that time the height attained is 3.2 meter okay then what is the distance between the highest point and the ground what is the total height attained by the stone now is this height attained plus height of the tower. Now let's find this velocity with which it reaches the ground. Now for the downward motion, initial velocity is 0 because at the highest point velocity is 0. Initial velocity is 0. As it starts falling down, velocity increases. So therefore we have to take g as the plus 10. So therefore u is equal to 0, s equal to 85 plus 3.2 which is equal to 88.2 meter. Now why 85 plus 3.2 I already told you this that the height of the tower is 85 meters and plus additionally the stone has attained 3.2 meter distance because it has been thrown upward. So therefore now v square is equal to u square u is 0 plus 2 into a is 10 and s is 88.2 meter. Therefore v is equal to under root 20 into 88.2. So this is equal to under root 1764 and this square root is 42 meter per second. So therefore the maximum velocity with which it reaches the ground is 42 meter per second. Now let's find the time taken to reach the maximum height. Again we will use the same kinematical equation v is equal to u plus a t. Final velocity is 0, initial velocity is 8 plus minus 10 into t. Therefore, t is equal to 0.8 second. So, therefore, time taken to reach the maximum height is 0.8 second. So, these are the answers of this. The initial velocity is 8 meter per second square. The greatest height above the ground is h equal to 3.2 meter. And the velocity with which it reaches the ground is 42 meter per second. While the time taken... Uh, by the stone to reach the maximum height is 0.8 second.
I hope you must have understood this problem and students to uh, do very well in the competitive examination like JEA, CET and NEET. I strongly recommend to subscribe our channel. Thank you.